Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Kabir Considers. In this video, I'm gonna to react to more celebrities reading mean tweets. I love, love, love these videos. Honestly, I just hope that Jimmy Kimmel never stops these just because it's just genuinely funny to see celebrities who are usually universally adored or at least in, you know, in person. Most people who meet a celebrity will just gush over them. They'll be saying, oh, I love you. I loved you in this. I love this song. I love this movie that you did. Like, you know, it's, it's rare that a celebrity will come face to face with something really negative, like an insult, a, a personal jab. It, it just never really happens to them. So it's fun to see how they respond to it, you know, just to see if they have the presence of mind to kind of laugh it off and just, you know, it's whatever. Like, but the ones that take it personally, like there was a guy in the last video that I did who uh, the tweet called him a goofy little worm. <laughs> I loved it was so 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 funny and uh, he took it well but then the guy who played I think his name is Tim Robbins who he played Andy Dufresne in uh, Shawshank Redemption uh he got really angry like he, he, his eyes started like twitching like he got really really you could see he was pissed off it was really really funny to see those the different parallel in reactions there this video should be a lot of fun let's do it let's go there are people who think Julia Roberts is hot. Damn. Her gigantic mouth looks like it will devour an elephant in one bite. <laughs> Thank you, Chemotherapy 7, and good luck. Don Cheadle seems like the kind of guy who I wouldn't want to hang around with under any circumstances ever. <laughs> He's so f***ing whack, honestly. Ashton Kutcher needs to get hit by a bus ASAP. I hate Courtney Cox. I hate her. <laughs> ho. <laughs> That's These have started really strong, just straight in there, straight for the jugular. If I said it once, I've said it a hundred times. <laughs> Andy Garcia. Mindy Kaling is not funny or attractive. She has an annoying voice and just plainly sucks. Why does she have her own show? I feel like this is more than 140 characters. David Blaine looks like his voice is putting his face to sleep. <laughs> Don Rickles looks like Yoda. <laughs> a little bit. Ethan Hawke seems like a guy who wasn't supposed to be a movie star, but he slipped through the cracks and everyone was just like, okay. <laughs> Matthew McConaughey is a turd. <laughs> turd. What the is a turd? Oh, f off, June Squibb. Ben 1283. You f off. I hope Jeremy Piven falls off in public. Kit Harrington is a pretty terrible Jon Snow. In the show, he seems like a big bitch with a stupid look on his face. <laughs> Hashtag bad casting. Emma Stone looks like she smells like cat piss. Okay. Gary Oldman sucks and his accents are annoying. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Sofia Vergara sounds like she has a in her mouth. I hate hearing her talk. What's wrong with having a d in my mouth? <laughs> Gwyneth Paltrow, you ugly ass, big bird looking bitch. Shut the f up. Big bird from Sesame Street. Oh, damn. <laughs> Unpopular opinion. Lena Dunham's boobs are dog noses. Does Gerard Butler have a massive student loan or something? Is that why he does all these films? <laughs> no, I don't have a student loan. I just do all these films. Ty Burrell looks like John Hamm if John Hamm was a crack addict. How old is Bob Newhart now? About. That one about Ty Burrell is actually kind of true. 
<laughs> I feel bad saying it because he's so funny, but he does look a bit like John Hamm. 120. I feel like Britney Spears is stalking me on the radio. Quit forcing your suckage on me, you tired hat. Oh my God. Gina Davis is a real man's man. <laughs> Chloe Moretz, or whatever her stupid name is, looks like my <laughs> Seriously, she is not decent looking whatsoever. You must have a really bleached <laughs> off, Chris Pratt. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's it. I hate that Scandal cast Scott Foley. He is TV poison for one thing, and he's a <laughs> creep with raper face. <laughs> what is raper, raper face? Michael Chiklis looks like a scrotum. <laughs> Ted Dan Hold on, wasn't the guy, wasn't this the guy who played um, the thing in the old Fantastic Four movie? I'm sure he was. <laughs> Ted Danson sucks donkey balls. <laughs> He's right. Guys, John Stamos has a gross belly button. It's <laughs> off, I don't know. <laughs> That's right. I hope you all have a great weekend. Except you, Lisa Kudrow. F you. <laughs> if an alien landed here and demanded a famous person to eat, I drive straight to Adam Sandler's house with a net. Now, with a net. <laughs> with a net. <laughs> such a great thing. <clears throat> Julia Louis-Dreyfus, 50-year-old ass, still on TV and winning awards and <laughs> bitch. <laughs> you need to retire. <laughs> okay. I'll retire. Damn. Sean Penn, you rude. Dumb, rude, and full of farts. <laughs> and stanky Sean, real-time stanker. <laughs> Must be hard for Liv Tyler having a father that is just a giant ball sack. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Elizabeth Banks. She's like, yeah, he is a ball sack. Banks is a whore. Daniel Radcliffe is one of God's most unattractive creations since the old rock. Here's some dense teeth bother the f out of me. They look like a load of Tic Tacs throwing gang signs. <laughs> <laughs> that was brilliant. Brilliant. A plus for creativity. When I grow up, I hope I can be as ugly in as many different hairstyles as Jason Schwartzman. I swear on Crip, if I see Michael B. Jordan, I'm going to slap that mini feather duster he calls a mustache <laughs> off his lip, bro. <laughs> That's the worst thing. Oh, it's the worst thing it's said. I'd rather stick a beaver in my anus than sit through a key and peel. Juliana Margulies is one of the finest ugly women I have seen. Ooh. Thank you. Ooh. Colin Farrell in True Detective looks like he smells like depre <laughs> depressed couch farts. Jordana Brewster is the next Meryl Streep. To be fair, he was so depressed in that show. I guess that was his character, but man, great show though. If Meryl Streep was the worst actress in the world. Damn. <laughs> Kurt Russell's face is made of aged denim. <laughs> I couldn't agree more. <laughs> Viola Davis's boobs look like a butt. And I think she thinks her butt boobs are an asset. There, it's not. I have Matthew Perry syndrome. I'm a sarcastic loser with a giant head. What's the matter with my head? Oh my God. Oh God. Lake Bell's face is about as beautiful as a worn out leather boot. Hashtag fug mug. Sarah Paulson is annoying when she yells, or cries, or talks, or exists. <laughs> bite me, that's how I feel about that. You can bite me in the Oh my God. So, so funny. So funny. Just uh, 
where where do I even begin? Like the one with uh, Sophia Vergara, I think her name is. Like the, the, the guy who said, she looks, she talks like she's got a in her mouth. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm, I'm sure I'm forgetting. The one with Matthew Perry, when they said that um, I'm just like Matthew Perry or something like that. But Matthew Perry has a, he's full of sarcasm. He's a sarcastic loser with a giant head. Oh, God. Just the personal jabs are just so brutal. It's so funny though. It, I just, I feel like I'm addicted to these. Like, let me know which ones you guys thought were the funniest ones. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.